Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. I uh, just want to give you four devastating arguments against atheism today. And I hope you're all okay today. The four arguments are sex, booze, drugs and domination. If you look at the atheism today, uh, one thing that it seems to promote is sex sexual promiscuousness. Um, if you look at uh, Go Green 18 who's a prominent YouTube atheist, uh, that's what she's promoting, sexual promiscuousness. Uh, also, if you look at uh, Free Thought blogs, uh, there are many women on there complaining at the harassment that they get at um, kind of uh, atheist um, events. So it seems to be that the atheist uh, today seems to be besotted with uh, sex, uh, but sex in an unwholesome way. Uh, so I wouldn't advise you to get involved with atheism because you might get your mind soaked with sex uh, and I'd encourage you as a young person to get out of atheism and realize that the words holiness unto the Lord is a better standard to live than this kind of sexual promiscuous lifestyle that atheism seems to be promoting today secondly uh, booze um, there seems to be a lot of emphasis on boozing and drinking, getting drunk. Uh, some of the top atheists on YouTube like to go out and get bladder to get drunk and even one of the main apologists of atheism Hitchens was a bit of a drunk. So if you want to be a bit of a boozer, a bit of a drinker, atheism is for you. If you want to live a sober life and uh, a more uh, wholesome life, uh, I would come out of atheism because you're going to get influenced in the area of booze. Thirdly, drugs. Drugs seems to be an important part of, of some atheists on YouTube uh, and uh, in the atheist uh, hierarchy, those who are defenders of atheism. Sam Harris took uh, drugs at, uh, when he was 19 and he kind of thinks this is a wonderful thing that uh, it provided him with a philosophical base for some of his thinking today as an atheist. So if you want to go and get involved in drug taking then continue to be an atheist if you want to live a more wholesome life then come over to Jesus Christ and give your life to him and then finally domination atheists don't realize well they probably do realize but they just want to keep it to themselves uh, that atheism leads to domination dominating people and that's because they're rooted and grounded in evolution. Evolution is about the survival of the fittest. What people don't realize is the logical uh, conclusion of this survival of the fittest is that the stronger are to dominate the weak. So therefore a man who has good genes it's perfectly reasonable for that person to impregnate as many women as they need to in order to continue the species um, so if he's got the best genes he's the strongest person he outstrips the other men and impregnates as many women as he can now mo many uh, atheists will not want to follow the logical conclusion of evolution that it leads to domination dominating of the weak but I would encourage you to uh, recognize this danger and uh, within atheism, rooted in evolution. So we've seen four devastating arguments. The sexual promiscuousness, the problem of drink and boozing, the problem of drugs and the problem of domination. Jesus Christ uh, was never sexually promiscuous but practiced a wholesome lifestyle and encouraged people to be holy. He never boozed, he wasn't against drinking, but he never boozed. He was not into drugs, and he was not into domination. And Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. To follow him is the best thing that you could do, and not to go down the atheist route. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.